We're going to be talking about another product from Blackjack Firearms. We're going to be talking about the uh, backup iron sights or backup sights. And my good friend John from Blackjack Firearms, he, he literally should have a restaurant, not a gun shop. And I say that kiddingly because when getting an AR built by Blackjack Firearms, you can pick and choose whatever you want, like picking from a restaurant menu. He literally can build you whatever you want when it comes to the AR platform. The menu item we're going to be talking about today are the flip-up and offset sights. Now, both of these have specific purposes. So John has sent me an email explaining all this, so I'm just going to read that because it's very clear and thorough. So get your pens and paper ready. If you've got an AR platform or you're thinking about getting one, this can help you out a lot, okay? So let me read this email from John from Blackjack Firearms concerning AR sights. When it comes to sights for the AR platform, you have many more options than just the old carrying handle. With rifles coming standard with the picketing rail on the receiver and many, if not most, ARs coming without a front sight of any kind today, we will discuss a few of the options available from Blackjack Firearms. First, let's discuss gas blocks. The gas block will come in one of five configurations. The traditional fixed front sight, uh, built-in fold-down front sight, a standard gas block rail, a high gas block rail, or a profile block without a rail or sight. If you have the fixed front sight or a sight like the Yankee Hill that folds out of the way but is still part of the gas block, then your sight will be permanently fixed to the barrel of your rifle. However, if you have a railed gas block, then it is important to know if you have the standard height or the high rail. This is easy to spot by looking at the gas block in the forearm from the side. If the rail is lower, I'm sorry, if the rail is level with the top of the upper receiver, then you have the high rail. If it is lower than the upper receiver rail in the forearm, then you have the standard height. If you have the low profile gas block, it is designed to not have anything attached to it, and your only option is, if you want to have a front sight, is to use your railed handguard. Now, Blackjack Firearms carries UTG and Magpul sights. All the sight options we'll discuss today are fully adjustable for windage and elevation and can be zero just like to the traditional AR sights. You will hear the terms bus or buis when talking about iron sights for the ARs. These stand for backup sights or backup iron sights, respectively. Most people consider uh, and optics as your primary sight and with the sights we are about to discuss as backups. Now, UTG front sights come in two heights, the standard and low profile. The standard is designed to fit on the standard gas block, and the low profile is designed to fit on the high gas block or rail on the forearm. Both of these fold down and out of the view of the optics. UTG rear sights come in either fixed or fold down configurations. The fixed sights look good and works well on rifles that have fixed front sights on your rifles that you want to co-witness on or if you're not planning on using an optic. The fold down sights mounts with the same thumb screw as the fixed sight but folds down and lays lower to the top of the receiver. When you want to use the sight you simply put it into position and it's ready for use. Now, Magpul offers both polymer and metal sights, and by far, Magpul polymer sights are the most popular ones sold by Blackjack Firearms. They fold down and are spring-activated by simply pushing an ambidextrous lever on the sides of the sight when you want to use them. When folded down, they are much more streamlined than the UTG sights and are a better-looking sight in general. They also come in a choice of colors, black, gray, flat, dark earth, OD green, and foliage green. The polymer Magpul front sight is designed to be used on a forearm or should not be used on a gas block as the heat from the gas block can damage the sight. The Magpul metal sights are the most expensive of the sights we'll discuss today. They come in two configurations, fold down and 45 degree offset. The fold down sights are low profile like the the Magpul polymer sights and are corrosion resistant. The front sight can be mounted on a high gas block or forearm of a rifle. They are not spring activated and do not do look different than the polymer sights. They only come in basic black. The 45 degree offset sights are fixed sights that when mounted to your rails, the sights sit on the side of your rifle at a 45 degree angle. This allows you to use the optic as your primary sight, but if the optic becomes non-functional or if you choose to use your iron sights, by slightly turning your rifle, you now can use them. They cannot be co-witnessed, but are a quick way to have backup sights without having them in the sight plane of an optic or having to remove your hands from the rifle to pop them up. So if you got any questions on that, feel free on your AR and your sights, feel free to go to Blackjack Firearms 
at gmail.com. Send them an email at blackjackfirearms at gmail.com or you can just go to their website, bjfirearms.biz. But in addition to that, I drew a couple pictures here. I'll try to explain them. The first one is the flip-up sights. If you can see it on the screen here, what I'm trying to show is picture the top of a rifle and in the front and the back, you got your sights. Well, these flip-up sights lay down smooth, nice and flat. When you decide to use them, you pop them up and it turns into a right angle. The sight turns into a right angle. The lower base is connected to the gun. The vertical post is the part that you look through. And then you're able to get your sight plane as you look through the hole and aim on your target. The third one is showing a co-witness of a red dot, we'll say, in the middle, in, in between the front and the rear sight, so that you can look through your rear sight, actually see through the optic, and then see the front sight. That's called co-witnessing. In case the optic goes bad, you just take it off, or you can continue to look right through it and still have iron sights. The offset sights, if you can see this on the video, I'm, I drew a picture of a rifle from the rear. You're seeing the buttstock, and you can see the scope mounted on top. And on the side are the offset sights. So if you can see this on the screen, I would tilt my gun so I would be able to aim with the iron sights and do a quick shot as compared to having to look through my iron or my, uh, my scope, which would be a little bit more difficult, especially at closer ranges. So there you have it. Go to uh, Blackjack Firearms. Uh, or bjfirearms.biz, check out their website, check out all they have to offer, and you can look at those things. Like I said, he's got a menu, like a restaurant, all the things you can pick for your weapon. 